Gonna do a TX mod on the IC9700. Now prior to doing this, obviously you risk voiding your warranty, damaging your radio. So you're gonna have to do it at your own risk. But effectively all you're gonna gain is an extra two meg. So you'll be able to go up from 146 to 148 megahertz on the two meter band. Uh, which is quite useful because with enough variation on your license you can use between 146 and 147 in the UK. There is a slight extension I believe to the uh, 70s band from 440 to 450 meg. Um, I don't think it modifies the 23 SEMS band at all um, but I'll basically show you the um, as it currently stands if we get to 140 six we dropped straight back to 144 so we're going to have a look at extending that and with the 70 sems band um, the current default is 430 to 440 and i believe the extension will take it up to 450. Uh, tools needed to do the mod uh, basically a soldering iron a screwdriver to open up the case and a bit of solder To get access to the components we need to remove, uh, we need to remove the base cover. Uh, there's quite a few screws scattered around, I'll leave you to find that out yourself, if you can't do that, please don't proceed any further. Um, if we remove the bottom, this is what we have. To achieve this modification, if you have, this is the, the base removed, this is the front of the unit, so if we look now on the right hand side there's a bank of diodes. The diodes that we're interested in removing, we can just zoom in, without going out of focus, bear with me. We need to remove, this is from the right hand side, on the, is the very first diode miss the second row and the third diode so we need to move one and three I'll say from the right hand side that's all we need to remove and that should then give us the full TX mod now this is not something I'm going to be able to do on camera um, it's very very I want to be very careful what I'm doing when I'm doing it so I shall show you what it looks like well you can see what it looks like now and then once I've removed the diodes I'll show you what it looks like afterwards Okay, so look at removing. Just using a basic soldering iron tip, um, a little bit of solder on the end. I'm sorry if my hands get in the way here, but these are very, very small. I'm just going to heat up both sides of the component until it removes. So that's the first one removed. You can see the component there, hopefully. So now we want one, two, three, now we want this component here. Again I'll just allow the heat of the solder to heat the component up. And that's got that one as well. Okay. We've got both of those off. I'll just clean up the pads. Hopefully you can now see I've removed the first diode there and from the right hand side going down the third diode which is there. Uh, what we'll do, we'll reassemble it now, um, do a factory reset and see if we've got the extended modification range. Okay, let's power him up. Oh, that's a good sign. Okay, so before we were getting 144 up to 146, I believe. So if I skip back one now, we should go 148. Yeah, so we've got the 2 meg extra on the 2 meter band. Let's have a quick look on the 77 band, and that was to that should go up to 50.
5830, yeah. So we've got the extension on that band as well. Would I recommend you do it? I would say if you're competent with a soldering iron, you shouldn't really have a problem. I would use as much magnification while doing the job as you can. Sorry I couldn't show you in full doing it um, with the removal. It's very hard to do and hold the camera. Uh, but hopefully you've got a gist of where the actual components are. And I will show you on the circuit diagram which components to remove.